I want to thank Southern Dodge of Norfolk for allowing me to do this review and uh, let's take a look at this car. Now we're going to start this review a little bit in the odd zone. We're going to start from the rear and this package is pretty nice looking. It's got a white interior, leather, really nice, beautiful, and it looks like you have sufficient room for the people in the back seat. Also you have many different engine choices, that being uh, the turbo model and the non-turbo model. This one is a non-turbo model and uh, they are very quick. Both of them are very quick. Uh, the horsepower numbers uh, you are more than welcome to visit their webpage and they have all the specs on these particular videos I'm not going to bore you with them but the car what really drives me to this car is the absolute beauty of it it really is a nice looking vehicle very comfortable you got plenty of room and for those of you that you know want more room than let's say the Fiat the Fiat 500 which I'm a fan of I have the Fiat Abarth I absolutely love it this is another car that was basically designed with the fit and finish of a nice European vehicle. All right, we're here with Jeremy, and uh, he's going to show us a little bit about this vehicle. And this is one of one of your favorite vehicles, it basically. Is. It is. Um, this is actually a vehicle that I could probably buy myself. So, so like I asked you uh, which vehicle. I mean, I was interested a lot, seeing a lot of different vehicles, but, and you basically pointed out. You told me your story, and uh, <laughs> why is this vehicle your favorite? Can you show me some of the features of this? Well, one particular thing I like is the. Um, this is called a seven-inch TFT display, um, and what it does, it gives you. Um, pretty much all the information you need while you're driving. Um, right now it's showing the uh, fuel economy, showing your range to empty as well as your average MPG. Um, and then at the bottom there's a gauge that shows your, your current uh, fuel economy. You can scroll left and right, you can change it how it displays. Um, then if you use the up and down buttons, this is your trip counter or your trip odometer basically. Um, it gives you your distance traveled, your average miles per gallon as well as how long you've been traveling i saw it had the coolant temp too i mean I, yes I mean, it's basically like showing you all kinds of it stuff. does it gives you basically all the information you would get from normal gauges it can be displayed here like here's your speed you can change the um the look of it from digital to the analog speedometer i'll get out of here that's and cool. when it's in the analog mode everything that everything else is, that's displayed is showing up in the middle um, it'll show your radio station here. Um, that is really nice. That is sweet. This is your your cooling temperature. You scroll left and right. It changes what it what it displays. You got your oil temperature, oil life. So when you when it's time for an oil change, that'll drop down to zero, and it'll actually give you a message saying change the oil. Now to get away from the technology a little bit, something. But I, I really noticed the fit and finish of, I mean, just little things like how they closed off uh, the top of the steering wheel here. Yes, uh, yes. The fit and finish of the wheel itself. Leather yeah, wrapped, really... uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. Um, in this particular model, it is heated. Um, you have heated steering wheel as well as heated seats. Um, that's actually controlled up here. Um, and you can, it has two settings for the, for the seats and it's very nice in the winter. So, um, got your radio here. Um, you can choose to display the map or not. Um, it'll just show the radio station if you don't have the maps displayed. Pretty much all the vehicle, all the darts that have the 8.4 screen come equipped with satellite radio for a year. Um, here's your media player, basically. Um, all of your connections are in here. USB and auxiliary. You have your CD player right there. Oh, that's slick. And then there's a power port there. So basically, you can choose your source. Um, CD, USB, auxiliary, or Bluetooth. Um, and whichever one you choose to use. Um, the next one is your controls where your heated seats, heated steering wheel is. And you can control pretty much all your climate controls from the, from the display. Um, as well as down here. So basically you have manual controls 
they're just because a lot of people like manual controls. Exactly. I know, I know myself, especially this volume knob right here. Yeah, that's something that's pretty cool. That's uh, lacking in a lot of vehicles. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, especially and mine right now. I miss my volume knob. And it's pretty big, so that you don't have to, you know, look down when, while you're driving to find it. Right. But there's also volume control on the steering wheel as well. Oh, so you have the buttons just like you just do on like the 500. The, yeah, yes. Oh man, I love pretty those. much. That's a that's a Chrysler standard. Um, any vehicle that has steering wheel audio controls, they're going to be in the same place and they're going to do the same thing. Right. Um, next over here, you have your nav. Um, and the navigation is powered by Garmin, which, you know, is a name everybody knows as far as GPS goes. Um, and then, one, you got, then you got your phone controls. Let's pull yeah. away for a little bit from this. Okay. I'm looking at this, uh, what is this? <laughs> a oh. push start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, this vehicle is, is is equipped with the keyless and go. Um, Let me take a look at that key you got. So basically that controls your trunk. Yes. All Here's right. your trunk controls you, um, and you just press it twice so that way you don't accidentally hit it and your trunk opens up. Right. Um, this one is your remote start, which is a class exclusive um, feature. Um, I don't know of any other compact cars that actually include remote start as a standard feature so that's pretty cool um and then you got your normal unlock and lock buttons here so basically when you walk up to the car as long as you have that in your pocket you just open up the door basically you um as long as you reach on the back of the door pull it open you'll hear it unlock and open right up for you and then you just push the button to and start then you get the in car. here you push the brake you push the button the car starts right up boy that is sweet so okay this is a manual all right you got all your little uh thingamabobbers there okay. showing you what gear you're in you also have stick and you were telling me also that these are pretty pretty darn close to as fast as the abarth i know that i've uh, pulled up next to one and mine's of course souped up yeah uh but before it was souped up i noticed that these cars were very quick especially for the size oh, yeah. they are i mean you got a lot of room you got a sunroof in this bad boy yes sir like i said nice this car big sunroof fully loaded um, and a real nice price. I got a picture of the sticker price for this particular vehicle so you guys can look at that. But like I said, you got many different vehicles. You can look at my beautiful face right there with my new camera. There, that's about as much as you're going to get of me. Uh, oh, it's got a light. Yes. Oh, sweet. Yeah, uh, that's pretty nice. So you got a little light in there. You notice here you have garage door opener controls. So you don't have to have that big ugly button sitting on your... Uh, Sun right. Now what's this right? That's your sunglasses. Yeah, out of here. That is sweet. Yeah, this is a, a really nice vehicle for the price. Now, I'm... got a backup camera too. That's... Oh. So it just automatically comes on when you go into reverse. Exactly. Put it back into park. You're back into normal mode. Yep. It's nice. Take a look at the glove box. Everybody always wants to. That's the first thing people do is they open up the glove box, exactly, right? Exactly. The salesperson's taught that, right? So you got a glove box, and how big is this Stick thing? Stick your hand in there. You can fit all the way up to your elbow. You have got to be kidding me. You can literally fit a laptop. I am going. Can I turn the light on or what? All right, let's check that out. I mean, that is a gigantic, that's like my Fiat. My Fiat's the same way. The thing is just gigantic. Doesn't look very big, but you can jam all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, it's all the way up to your elbow. Yep. That is probably the biggest glove box I've ever seen in my yeah. life, which is important. Then you also have all these little cubby holes here. You got like a little, oh, look at that, a little change place right yep. there. Is it the same thing on the no, driver's it's not side? No, on the driver's side. There's controls there. For now, the on the mirror. driver's side, what do you got here? You got, you got your, your mirror controls. controls, your window controls, and then your door locks. Nice. The fit and finish is really outstanding. Yes. I'm really impressed. I like I mean, every, everything feels really, really solid. I really like the materials that they use. Let's see uh, if I can get a squeak, though. We got to get. Oh, it's soft. A bit. No, it's soft. I like yeah. that. This is actually leather. I'm not getting any squeaks. Now what's this? You got some stuff on the mirror this here. This is your um, the self automatic dimming, dimming uh, rear view mirror. Um, it also has a Bluetooth mic um, integrated into it. So with the rear view mirror, basically when somebody shines their lights on your mirror, it's gonna automatically dim as opposed to you having that little button here to flick back and forth. The first thing is, uh, <laughs> you got an engine, all right? This is the non-turbo version. Uh, got your fuse box there got your uh, air intake here get the multi-air 2.4 liter the turbo 
what's the difference? You got the 2.4 liter and then you have the turbo. Which one's you faster? Have, what's horsepower wise? What are we talking well, about? Well, the Dars Cup are available with three engines. You have the two liter, which is essentially the base model engine, 160 horsepower, um, 170 foot pounds of torque. Um, then you have the 1.4 liter multi-air turbo, which is the same engine that's in the Abarth. Um, and that's putting out 160 horsepower and about the same same amount of torque as the other one. Gotcha. Um, but that engine is going to get you better fuel economy over the 2 liter. Um, and then you have the multi-air 2.4 liter, 184 horsepower, 172 foot-pounds of torque. Um, they sound really nice too. They do. I mean, they it's do. a nice sounding car, it's, especially when someone gets on it. I noticed that the, the engine does sound very nice. You were talking about something in here for fuel economy. Yes. Now. It's, hard, it has, it's hard for the camera to get in there. Okay. Well, it has active grill shutters. And basically what they do is they control how much air is actually being forced onto the engine. And when they're closed, it actually improves the aerodynamics of the car. Um, and you'll get a lot better fuel economy from those. Right, right. That is really neat. That is some technology in there. We'll swing around. And then, of course, we have the headlights. You got all the fancy. Look at that. You got project, projection headlights. HID um, projector headlights. The uh, same ones I got on the Abarth, it looks like. And those headlights really work well. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're talking nice. And then you have projector fog lights underneath there. Sweet. Now, these rims, I'm not a particular fan of this, these rims, but I saw some rims that you had on the more more sporty versions that were pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, this one comes standard with 17-inch rims. Um, the Dart GT, which is a little more sporty, it, it, the main differences between that one and this one is a little bit of the appearance. Um, they actually changed the suspension a little bit to make it a little more um, aggressive. Right. Um, so... And then, like the headlights are blacked out as opposed to the to the shiny chrome here, and the wheels are a little different. I really like the shape; it's real sporty. It is. Um, we can come. We can take a look at this trunk right quick. How much space do we have in here? Whew, boy, that's a lot of space. Yeah, a massive amount of space in here. Your seats fold down, 60/40 split. Really nice. Is that a pass through that you have also? It is, is that? It is. And I, I love that feature. I had that on my Honda Accord. It was really nice, especially when I had a kid. We had our, uh, all our baby changing gear yeah. right there. Sweet, look at that. Nice pass through. And uh, <laughs> this car really has a sexy butt. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to put it. Uh, the whole thing lights up if I remember correct. Obviously, with the sun out, it's not going to show it at all, but, uh... Yeah, you can barely see it, but the whole thing lights up, which is really nice. Now, the turn signals. Are the turn signals yellow or red? I'm just red. curious. They're red? So I'm gonna take one last walk through. I've already looked at the back seat. The back seat's just nice as all get out. Anything, that you, oh, anything dude. you could add. One thing I did notice when I is that. Oh, so you got cup holders. Got cup holders there, as well as storage um, inside. Oh, that's nice. I really like this little window. It really adds yeah. something there. I mean, I, I don't know what I like about it, but it, it really does add a lot to this vehicle. Now I like the slope right here. Yeah. This, uh, the way this slopes back is really nice looking. Real sporty the looking vehicle. Features, as far as the uh, styling goes, you notice there's no, um, usually on some vehicles there's a black band where the roof meets the uh, yeah, pillars. Yeah, right. It's not there on this vehicle. Oh, I see. That is correct. Oh, that is nice. Real slick. Let's throw that on that hood and we'll take one last look at the front. Thank you so much for this. No problem, um, no problem. This is a beautiful car. Many different options out there, but this gives folks a uh, nice look at one of your favorite vehicles. Definitely. And definitely one of my favorite vehicles when I see it on the road. Got yourself a little Dodge. Yep. Look at that. Real slick looking. All right, well, I want to say thank you very much no and problem. take care.
And uh, just below this, I'm going to throw a link, your name, and uh, the website of this uh, wonderful dealership. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem.